I've never met anybody to do anything to me at any point in my life where I've ever said kill yourself. I've I've really have never said that. I'll never say that to anyone. Why would you? Why would anyone say that? What to anyone? happens if they did? Well, it's happened. Yo, no, seriously. It's happened. What happens seriously. if so, they did? So what happens if you if if you say that and they did? Are you are you really gonna sit there and be like, wow, I'm glad, yo. What that would fuck you what up. What kind of fucking... No, no, bro. What kind of sick person sits there and says, wow, I, you know, my, my dreams came true regarding that human's life. Yo, if... Yo. Uh, we're, in a, we're in a bad place where that, where that is being uttered as, uh, it's, as much as it is. I, I just don't... I, don't, I can't grasp it. Like, no. Dude, like, how did you give anybody that much power over your head and heart for you to hate somebody that much? Like, it, it takes a lot of effort. Mm. My dad, I, my dad said something to me when I was in the sixth grade, and that shit fucked me up. He had attendance, and I was complaining about this kid. Let's just say his name's Zach. And I was like, blah, blah, blah. My dad turned to me and he goes, How much rent is he paying you? And I was like, What, <laughs> what the fuck? What are you talking about? He goes, Yeah, because he has, he has so much space in your head. Oh, I want to know how much rent he's giving you because he has so much access to your mind. Oh. And I was like, Wow. He goes, Dude, he goes, That guy's probably jerking off to porn. And doesn't even know who you are right now. Right. Doesn't care right. to know who the fuck you are right now. He goes, and you're sitting here complaining to me for the past two hours. He goes, that guy, he goes, he mind fucked you. you. You're you're his. You're a puppet to him. It's 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 hard, bro. Like words hurt. Like <clears throat> words really do cut. What really helped me, and because uh, you know, <clears throat> back in the day, even even sometimes I'm having some problems, and I'll, I'll talk about why I'm why I'm coughing so yeah, much yeah. actually next. But what helped me a lot is. Uh, I decided that I really don't give a single solitary fuck about what strangers think of me. Why though? Well, I never understood why people give a fuck well, about. Yo, Dude, I gotta bring my yearbook. You're gonna die. Why, <laughs> bro? Uh, oh my God, Bell's here. She get witnesses. Justin was there. My yearbook. They passed it around and signed it. Everybody in school signed it. Bro, the shit they said in my yearbook. No, bro. No. Hey, it might have seemed that I didn't like you. It's probably because I didn't. Guess who it is? What? Either your mom or your dad. It's my dad. I told you five times a day. There's no idea. What? My, oh people, no! People shit on you in your year. No, dude. They wrote shit like this. I'm not even kidding. Uh, ready? It might have seemed that I didn't like you. Period. <laughs> it's probably because I didn't. Oh. Uh, people. Hey, George, your try yearbook? a new haircut. I'm tired of you looking like a monkey. Oh, uh, that one was that one's honest. Yeah, I can't hate him that one. This girl said you're funny 47 percent of the time. Bro, like uh, not not one of them was a like a fully blown like. Hey, well, well that's sort of tricky because. Those people aren't strangers, you know. Those are people I knew. Me. <laughs> Those are the people. So you know, every everybody hated me in school, bro. But, every but but here here's my advice. Here here's my advice because high school and school in general can be a toxic place. Uh, just nasty people trying to say hurtful things to people it, during the developmental phase of of teens. There's a solid chance you may never see the kids you went to high school. Ever again in your life, ever. Or maybe yeah. Handle- even if you do, you got to understand that these kids, like, listen, I'm, I'm telling you this right now from, like, the horse's mouth. Nobody got made fun of more than me. I, pro- I will fucking bet money. Do you know- All of those kids are sweethearts these days. Oh. They were just lost and confused and they were hurt in their own area. Yeah, yeah. Huh. All of those people are nice. There was one kid that made fun of me so much. I, by the way, I didn't give a fuck. And by the way, I didn't even read those. Uh, I didn't know about that shit until the last Arizona trip. Oh, my mom no. pulled it. I didn't know. Thank I God. never fucking read it. Thank God you read it in your adult life. Who but knows I, what it would have done nah, to you? I didn't, dude, they spit on me in hall. Like, I, uh. I, like, I didn't give a fuck. But there was this one kid. I read his email. I'm not going to mention his name because, you know, he's, he did his thing. But he pushed me a lot, like, re- like really far. Like, him and his friends had a game where they were trying to meet me in the bathroom and jump me. Like, like on God. Like, it was bad. Why? why? They just hated me, bro. Because I was really bubbly and fun. Like, this one kid said he got mad at me because I was too happy. That was one of the things that he got mad at. He goes, I don't know why you're so fucking happy. Nobody likes you. And I was like, I don't know. But here's the thing. A lot of people can relate to that. That guy emailed me three years ago. And he sent me this long apology. And told me that he got suffered in his own house. And that's Mm. why he he was a piece of shit to me in high school. Now, same guy. Same motherfucker that I would have punched and beat. And like wanted to fight and all this shit, but I let it go because I know God's greater than the situation. Now is helping kids not kill themselves. He has one of the biggest programs in Arizona for suicide prevention. People he's change. Like, no, no, no. Crazy. People didn't change. He was battling his own demons. Sure. Right. Every time he's making fun of me, he was the one closer to killing himself than I was. Yeah. So the next time, can I not say that? 
No. Okay. No, sure. So so the next time like you're in school, just remember, like I'm I'm being serious. Like really think about it. When's the last time anybody's made fun of somebody that's really beneath them? They really don't. You only pick on people that are greater than you. You never pick up because then you're just an asshole. Mo- like, most times, I'd say I'm I'll I'll I'm comfortable saying 99% of the time, mean, hurtful comments that are thrown at you are only a reflection of how that person feels about, about themselves. themselves. 100%. Jealousy, envy, 100%. all that but stuff. But why, unless, uh, um, why, just why would you, why? I think it's also a parenting thing. Like you said, like that guy was bad yep, on his own demons yep, at home. Yep. So so at the end of the day, like when- That's where when empathy kids, and sympathy comes in. Exactly. You gotta be cool. Exactly. Also, FYI, I just wanna throw one more thing uh, my mom told me. So I told you what my dad said. My mom said something is equally, is, uh, has weight to it. Uh, nobody gives a fuck. Seriously, think about this. When you walk away, you think about yourself and what you got to do and what you got to eat. When, it, when people walk away from you, even if they said something mean to you in that moment, when you, they walk away, they don't think about you. So when you walk into the room and you're trying so hard to please the people around you, just know nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. Mm. So worry about yourself and how you feel in that room and not what the people in front of you because they don't care. Because when you're talking to them and telling them about your life or doing whatever you do to please them, they're in their head not even listening to you, thinking about themselves and what they're going to say and what they're going to do. It's just the, the internet has made it exponentially worse because it's given a voice, a, a heavy voice to all of those people. <sighs> so now every no, wait, but you're talking about the people so that now, hide behind their keyboards? Well, I mean, let's but, talk about the, we, we generally stick stuff to the internet on this show because, you know, it's a digital show. We talk about digital a lot, but there's so many people out there who are, don't like themselves. They're sad. They're upset. They, they, they don't have confidence. They're jealous. They're envious. And they just sit behind the keyboard all day and they attack people. They attack their friend. They attack, oh, by the way, just imagine they, they, how like, much bro, they would get done bro, if they like looked up shit to better them. To better themselves, of course. But like you go on Twitter, they don't have pictures of themselves as their profile. They have pictures of Pokemon, of, of I'm, Sega Genesis I'm, 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 character. I'm, 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 I'm asking a question around the room. Is everyone paying attention right now? Just, just, just nod yes or no. Nod yes or no. Ready? Have you ever left a semi mean or not so nice comment on a YouTube video? Yes or no? Never. No? No? no. Not one time in my entire life. Not anyone in this room. Never, ever, ever, ever. I don't think I've, I don't even know that I've ever left a comment on a YouTube video at all. At and all. Maybe that could be an age thing. Yeah. But definitely, if I have, it's not been a mean. It's not been a mean one. I just we've talked about this so many times on the show. I've never understood people's desire to bring others down. I've never, ever, ever understood it. If I ever do it, I feel terrible about it. It eats at my fucking soul if I say something mean to someone. It eats at me. It makes it. It, it, it lets me know. That I was having a bad day or I was feeling bad about myself. Have you guys ever said And that it? was a reflection of it. Yeah. I, po- I, po- I posted this on Instagram the other day. If you have a problem with me, call me. If you don't have my number, then that means you don't know me well enough to have a problem. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Literally. Like, like the, and, and, and honestly, like one of the biggest issues we have in today's current age is everyone is willing and ready to judge without knowing the 360 degree of information that exists around a situation. They don't know the person. They don't have the facts around the situation. They don't know the circumstances. They don't know the emotions. They don't know what was happening on the other side of the cameras. Yet everyone is still willing to judge, to make a, to pass a judgment on people, on situations, and act like they know. It's the nature. But they it's, don't. It's the nature of simple humans. Is have what, have is, you is, got, is what it is. It's an, it's bro. It's what's it's that hard, saying? It's hard not to. It's a knee jerk reaction. What's you, that saying? Uh, nature uh, versus nurture. No, it's like. Uh, smart people discuss event oh, like, yeah. what is it like yeah fuck, can you look it up it's like it's like simple people discuss people smart pe- oh no here we got it great <laughs> minds yeah, no here we go. go small people discuss people so, sorry <laughs> read that one that's small right minds one. discuss people <laughs> small minds discuss people average minds discuss events great minds discuss ideas and honestly every time I, i'm i'm gossiping with my friends because I'll admit, bro, I, I like shit talking. I like gossip. Like, I, I'm, I don't know. I like drama. I like chaos and conflict. It's part of the reason I like fighting. Like, I'm just like, I'm here for fucking, I don't know, chaos. Yeah. And every time I, I, I find myself doing that, I have to check myself. And I'm like, uh, I don't want to be a small-minded person. So yeah, very oh, smart. for That's sure. Very smart. Let's, let's talk about ideas. I also, I also believe that, and you're learning this, and you're, you know, an example of it, that it's something that you grow out of. Heavily. Oh life. yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I, I, I'll tell you that the majority of negative, mean, 
poking fun at people's looks or styles or whatever it is is from an age set that is below 25 years old. Yeah. Nobody you, nobody above 25 years old is going on a YouTube video and saying, "Yo, you fucking this or you you like but since but since YouTube and Instagram and TikTok are so Gen Z and young millennial focused, you see so much of that shit. Well, but like, he, I want to put an asterisk next to that saying also yeah, because like sure. this podcast, it's a fantastic podcast and oftentimes Phenomenal, phenomenal conversation stems from us talking about people. So there is, you know what I'm saying? There is but an asterisk. We, but are we nasty? Are we really well, I, fucking well, nasty? Well, that's not what the saying, that's not what the saying's about. This just says small minds talk about people. So got like, it, so like, so, so sort of, 